Ah, the very first cuckoo of spring. And that means, my little Smurfs, that today is the day we celebrate the Rite of Spring Festival with dancing, music, and poetry. Hooray! Boys, your role in the festival is the most important one of all. In accordance with the great Smurf Almanac, you must compose a special poem to spring and recite it for us at sunset. Count on me, Papa Smurf. It will be the most beautiful poem ever Smurf. Here it is, Azriel, the most powerful potion I have ever concocted. I think I'll call it Sweet Silence. <laughs> <laughs> All we need now, Azriel, is a victim. <laughs> Works! My sweet silence works! Oh, now to find those chattering smurfs. I can hardly wait not to hear them. <laughs> <clears throat> the first sign of spring is a song the birds sing. When the whole world... What garbage! It's a pity those revolting words are the last you'll ever speak. <laughs> he can't even cry for help. What in the pit? <laughs> Curse you, Cuckoo! Little blue menace got away! Well, if you ask me, I say... <laughs> What's wrong, Poet? Something smurfed in your throat? I'll help you, poet. Feel better yet, old pal? What is he doing? I think he's trying to tell us something. Gargamel! Even more amazing, there is only one way this spell can be broken. Well, hello, little friend. Have you a song for me today? Oh, dear. I've never seen a cuckoo who couldn't cuckoo before. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Gargamel has done something to Poet's voice! Hmm. It must be some kind of spell. Open your mouth. Gargamel, eh? Perhaps he did the same thing to this little cuckoo. Oh, the poor thing. Well, Poet, I'll get to work on a remedy. First, I must find out exactly what kind of a spell Gargamel used. Oh, Papa Smurf, how is Poet going to recite his poem for the Rite of Spring Festival? Have no fear, my little Smurfs. I know someone who can help Poet speak, even without his voice. My good friend, Laconia the Wood Elf. Speak without using his voice? That's impossible. No, my little Smurfs. You'll soon find it is very possible indeed. Please take this letter to Laconia in Wood Elf Grove. Speaking without your voice? Now that's something I've got to see. <laughs> so then I said, what do you think I am? Just another beauty mark on the face of the earth? <laughs> <laughs> That's telling them vanity. Oh, you said it. <laughs> oh, vanity. It's so left. Oh, poor poet. He must feel so left out. Here comes Laconia. <laughs> Welcome, Laconia. Oh, we're so glad you've come to visit. Oh, gosh. You're the prettiest little wood elf I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, why doesn't she say something, Papa Smurf? Because, my little Smurfs, Laconia is mute. She cannot speak with her voice. Oh. But she has smurfed a very special way to talk with her friends, and they with her. It's called sign language. Oh. With sign language, a Smurf who cannot speak or hear will not have to feel left out of the conversation. Anything you can Smurf out loud, you can Smurf just as beautifully with signs. Anything? Well, then, uh, how would you sign a, a butterfly? Oh! Well, what's the sign for bird? Ah! Uh, what's a sign for cat? Like that mean old nasty Asriel. Oh! Oh, yep. That sure looks like Asriel, all right. Smurfs. Smurfs. Words like bird and cat are amusing. But you're forgetting the most important word in the entire universe. 
Smurf! For some words, Brainy, you must think of a new sign to describe what you mean. Oh, Laconia, that's a perfect sign for Smurf. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you want to sign some Smurf's name, you just pick out the sign for a characteristic that makes that Smurf unique. Take Hefty Smurf, for instance. Hey! <laughs> that's a great sign for my name. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll bet your will take a little while to Smurf up a name sign for me. <laughs> Laconia says that will be easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, all right. <laughs> Greedy Smurf. I hate asking, but what about Baby Smurf? <laughs> ah, yes. It's time we started translating Poet's Poem for the Rite of Spring Festival. Come, let's find somewhere quiet. <clears throat> now remember, Poet, you can express just as much feeling with sign language as you can with your voice. Well, well, well. Mind if I join our little party? Run, run. <laughs> gotcha. Well, well, well. What have we here? A friend of the Smurfs? Splendid! Then you can tell me how to get to their village. You won't talk? Well, I have ways to make you talk. Many, many ways. <laughs> Poor Laconia. We must rescue her. <laughs> if we are to succeed in rescuing Laconia, we must first find a way to get past Azrael. That's a brave cuckoo. <laughs> Quickly, poet, let's go. Well, well, well. <laughs> Being the soft-hearted, generous wizard that I am, I, Gargamel, will give you the ability to speak. And in your gratitude, I'm sure you'll be only too glad to tell me how to get to the Smurf village. That's only fair, isn't it? In that case, I shall make you talk. I think you'll soon warm up to the idea, my silent little friend. <laughs> hmm. For the spell to work, this incantation must be spoken aloud. Now's our chance. Lip of lizard, tongue of hen. What in the... I'll get you, you miserable little... Now you know how it feels to have no voice, Gargamel. Stop! If you harm us, Gargamel, there will be no one to recite the incantation, and you'll never speak again. Set Laconia free, and I'll recite the incantation. Good. Now, everyone gather around. You too, little bird. Lip of lizard, tongue of hen. Speechless poet, speak again. <clears throat> it's working. Songless cuckoo, sing again. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Lip of lizard, tongue of hen. Speechless wizard, speak again. And now, to give you a voice, Laconia, a cat? Where? Oh, no! Now Laconia will never be able to speak. No, but I will. And now, for one of my favorite phrases... Get them, Azriel! This way, and hurry! <laughs> Escape me this time, and I shall see to it that you'll never speak another word the rest of your miserable lives. <laughs> Capturing you now will be as easy as falling off a log. You can always count on Gargamel to make a big splash. <laughs> oh, yeah. Laconia, I can never thank you enough for saving my life. I only wish we could have saved the formula to give you a voice. We're all very sorry, Laconia. 
Laconia says not to feel sad. She's happy just the way she is. Yay, Pollock! Yay, Pollock! Thank you, thank you. I shall now recite my poem to spring in both Smurf language and sign language. Oh! Psst! But, Poet, you don't need sign language now. You've got your voice back. I know, but Smurfing in sign language is so beautiful. <clears throat> the first sign of spring is a song the birds sing. When the whole world gets a fresh start. But no words can convey what a smile has to say. To a Smurf, it's a song from the heart. Yay! Laconia, how do you say I love you in sign language? And I love you too. Yay! Now remember, my little Smurfs, the forest around Witchhaven School is very dangerous. Unfortunately, it is the only place to find Witch Hazel. We'll Smurf all you need, Papa Smurf. Just remember, Witch Haven is a school for witches, so keep yourselves well hidden. We will, Papa Smurf! Now pay attention, class. What basic element, if you touch it, will take away a witch's powers for an entire year? Anyone know? Brenda? Let me see. Uh, uh, oatmeal? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Magdalena? The four basic elements are earth, fire, air, and water. And the element that will take away a witch's powers for a year is water. Very good. So, when you graduate and go out into the real world to spread hate and evil, remember to stay out of the rain and never take a bath. That's all the time we have for today. Class dismissed. Yay! Except you, Brenda. I want you to stay after class. I'm very, very disappointed in you, Brenda. You're turning out to be a very bad little witch. But I thought I was supposed to be bad. It's evil that we teach here. Bad isn't nearly good enough. Good? Good? I've never seen that word anywhere in my school books. What does it mean? Forget you ever heard that word. Yes, Miss Gnarly. I'm going to give you one more chance. I want you to turn a songbird into a bat by sundown. Fail and you suffer a student witch's most embarrassing fate. You'll be expelled. Expelled? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. No! Not your best, your worst! Learn to be evil, or a rain of fire will fall upon you. Learn to be evil, or the earth will open and swallow you up. Learn to be evil, or you won't graduate. And remember, I'll be watching on my crystal ball. Yes, Miss Gnarly. Dear me, a witch without the proper education has a terrible time finding work these days. Oh, there's a songbird now. I'll show Miss Gnarly how evil I really am. Here we go. Dog into caddis, bird into baddis. Aw, oh, that wasn't nearly evil enough. Oh, what am I going to do with that child? Oh, there's another songbird. This time, I'll get it right. Dog into caddis, bird into baddis. Oh, well, that was a little more evil anyway. Oh, guess what you think you were doing? Mother Nature would be most upset if she ever found out you were changing her beautiful songbirds into frogs. It was an accident. It was supposed to turn into a bat. Oh, well, that's much different. Nevertheless, it wasn't a very nice thing to do. It wasn't supposed to be nice. It was supposed to be evil. Evil? Why would anyone want to be evil? 
I'm a witch. What else can I be? You could try being good. There's that word again. I wish somebody would tell me just what good is. Good is being kind to all creatures, great and small. Good is keeping fed and taking care of your health. I still don't have the slightest idea what good is. Well, perhaps it would be best if Papa Smurf explained it to you. Papa Smurf? Wait a second, Smurfette. I don't think Papa Smurf would like us bringing a witch to the village. Oh, nonsense. Papa Smurf would be the first to agree that we should help this little witch learn how to be good. So, there is a Papa Smurf. Hmm. If I can destroy that little blue goody-goody, it would be quite a bat in my hat. Oh, all I have to do is let the Smurfs lead Brenda to their village. Then, zap! Instant fame and fortune! <laughs> I'm coming, Papa Smurf, to destroy you! <laughs> it's absolutely absurd, Smurfette. First of all, Papa Smurf has enough trouble teaching me how to be a wizard. Second of all, witches are ignorant creatures who could never learn the intricacies of being good. Third of all... Oinkus Maximus! Huh? Is it rainy or is it a pig? How do I know? I'm just a kid. Well, change him back this minute. I can't. That wouldn't be evil. Well, Papa Smurf can change him back. I hope. I'd say we should get some rain in a day or so, Farmer. I don't know, Papa Smurf. My bunions tell me it won't rain for weeks. My Smurfness, Brainy. What happened? Oh, this little witch turned Brainy into a big Papa Smurf. A witch? What is she doing here? I brought Brenda to the village so you could teach her how to be good, Papa Smurf. But Brainy insulted her, and now... I see. <laughs> well, being good is very easy if you feel it in your heart. Come along, Brenda. I'll try to explain goodness to you while I mix up something to bring Brainy back to normal. <laughs> Meanwhile, Farmer, find Brainy a mud puddle to cool off in. Glad to, Papa Smart. <laughs> so you see, Brenda, good is excellence, value, virtue, and worth. It means quality, well-being, an honorable way of living. In short, good means smurfy. Good. It's ready. You know, Brainy, I always wondered what it would be like being a human farmer. Feeding the chickens, milking the cows, <laughs> slopping the hogs. <laughs> now, now, Brainy, here comes Papa Smurf. He'll bring you back to normal. Have you seen Hefty? He was supposed to meet us here with those four songbirds. Here I am, Papa Smurf. We couldn't find the songbirds. He changed into a butterfly. But we did manage to find this, this scary frog. Oh, don't worry, Scary. Papa Smurf will change it back into a songbird in no time. I'm scared of them, too. I need a fresh big acorn to complete this spell. Scary, I want you to climb up there and get me one. Way up there? I'll do it, Papa Smurf. No, I think it would be a good experience for Scary to do it. Good experience? Papa Smurf's trying to teach Scary a lesson for his own good. This is not good. Oh, be careful, Scaredy! Here it comes! Good work! Oh, Hefty, please tear the cap off that acorn and give it to me. First, we'll try the formula on the frog. All right, Brainy, now it's your turn. Who do you think you are? I, Brainy Smurf, have never experienced a more embarrassing situation than the one you put me through. Like Papa Smurf always says, evil spells and Smurfs don't mix. Evil spells and Smurfs do mix the way I mix them. Run, my little Smurfs! And furthermore... Hey, wait for me! Curses! Papa Smurf got away! Gosh, a big witch! And Papa Smurf said this would be a good experience? Oh, dear, she's got scared. Papa Smurf, I know you can hear me. Turn yourself in to me at Witch Haven, or you'll never see this little Smurf again. Papa Smurf! <laughs> we must rescue Scaredy. What about Brainy, Papa Smurf? 
Well, it's easy enough to reverse a little witch's spell, but quite a different matter to reverse a spell cast by a big witch. I need the page from her spell book. Hefty, I want you and Smurfette to take feathers and find a way to get into Witch Haven without being seen. I'll ride with little Brenda. Good idea, Papa Smurf. Meanwhile, I'll try to find Brainy a little <laughs> grain or something. Bark, bark, bark. Ah, come, Papa Smurf. Come flying to your doom. That's it, you little blue goody goody. Come to teacher. I'll teach you a thing or two. Good landing. It was, wasn't it? Well, well, well. At last we find out that evil is indeed more powerful than good. Here's our chance. Boy, am I glad to see you. Hurry. Here's the page Papa Smurf needs. Look out. <laughs> It is a long way down. You'll learn just how far down it is once I turn that tree root into a snake. Huh? Yeah! Are you all right, Papa Smurf? Yes, Brenda. That was quite a spell you cast. She's all wet. Now she'll lose her powers for a whole year. <laughs> I'll get you, Papa Smurf. As soon as I get dried out, Whenever that is! Let me first state, without reservation, that I don't want that horrible little witch in my sight the rest of her stay in our village, which I hope won't be for very long. Like him better as a chicken. Uh, what are you going to do now that you've, uh, well, stopped being evil? Oh, Smurfette, I plan to travel the world doing good. Now that Papa Smurf has taught me how. Oh, Brenda, there's that songbird you turned into a butterfly. This is a good chance for you to put your new outlook on life to the test, Brenda. Sure, Papa Smurf. What? That was very good, Brenda. Very good indeed. Almost dawn. I'd better get going. It should happen at sunrise if it happens at all. There he goes again. Yeah, and he looks worried. He's been sneaking off like that every morning for a week. Papa Smurf doesn't sneak, Brainy. But let's follow him anyway. Yeah, maybe we can help. This must be the day. It has to be the day. Come on, he went this way. Well, we'll find out any second now, won't we, Palador? Looks like he's talking to that big boulder. Oh, gosh, he is. Nothing Papa Smurf does should seem strange to any Smurf. I once heard him tell a weeping willow to cheer up. That rock, it's turning into a, a monster. monster. Look out, Papa Smurf! Look out! <clears throat> no, no, my little Smurfs. Don't jump to conclusions. This is the face of Polydor, a long-lost friend of mine. Ages ago, he taught me much of the magic I know. And now he's come back to give me an important message. Lo and beware, my wise old friend. Important you answer this riddle I send. The druids return with the moonrise this night. Dig for the riddle at the altar of light. Papa Smurf talked to rocks before, but this is the first time they ever talked back. What does it mean, Papa Smurf? I'm not sure, Handy. <laughs> What's a doodad, Papa Smurf? That's druid, clumsy. Druids were evil wizards who once long, long ago lived on a mountain overlooking the forest. It was the druids who caused Palador and all of his good people to vanish. He mentioned altar of light? Yeah, he said we should dig for the riddle there. Hmm. He must mean that old stone altar in Hemlock Hollow. Handy, you and Hefty get some shovels. We'll meet you there. And hurry, my little Smurfs. Remember, we must solve this mystery before moonrise tonight. Brothers, 
tonight, we shall all be free. Free from the cursed spell of Palador. Free to regain our powers. Tonight, the druids reclaim their domain. Just what are we looking for, Papa Smurf? I'm not sure, Hefty. Well, in my opinion, any magic that old is surely powerless by now, and I predict we're all doing this hard work for nothing. I found something. Then again, I have been wrong before. Only once or twice, but, well, this would make three times, actually. <laughs> so, Paladin is what his magic could keep us in the bark of that old tree forever, did he? <laughs> Just because I locked him in stone. <laughs> he had no sense of humor. But I outsmarted him. Here, on our sacred mountaintop, I've hidden the secret to our escape. And woe be unto any creatures who try to stop us. Heave! 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 It's a time capsule, all right. Heave! 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 That's good, my little Smurfs. Now, let's get the capsule open. This should smurf the trick. <laughs> Here, Handy, let me try. I must be stronger than I thought. Hmm. Perhaps since Palador was a wizard, his capsule can only be opened by magic. We must take it back to the village. I need my books. Chambers of stone, give way. <laughs> There it is, the Moonrock Amulet. It means to end Palador's spell over my people. <laughs> I have it, my brothers, the Moonrock Amulet. Tonight, when the moon rises over Druid Mountain, our amulet will amplify the rays of the moon, and Palador's spell will be broken. We shall be free, my brothers. Oh. Free to regain our powers, free to walk the land. By this time tomorrow, the forest will be mine! <laughs> I mean, the forest will be ours, of course. <laughs> Papa Smurf says it's a time capsule. Ancient people placed things inside so that the future, that's us, would know what it was like in the olden days. Oh, what do you suppose is inside? If you ask me, anything that old couldn't possibly be worth anything. Hmm. Excuse me, Ray. This time capsule is younger than I am. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Papa Smurf. Now, let's see if I can open it. Closed are thee, but open says me. Hmm, that's not it. Here's open, it opens it, opens it wide. Open it, opens and lets us inside. <laughs> That's not it either, Papa Smurf. Palador must have made the capsule impenetrable to magic, so the druid's magic could never open it. But he wanted you to get it open, Papa Smurf. That's true, Ed. He says so right here. Open this capsule, Papa Smurf, to stop the coming of the druid curse. No fooling! Is this the sample for Papa Smurf? Why, yes, Clumsy, I... Oh! Fine work, Clumsy, you did it! I did! Oh, I mean, I did! Oh, look what's inside! It's an ancient mirror. Well, it makes me look ancient. Look, an old stone axe! Mm. Not just old, it's positively primitive. And look, Papa Smurf, it's an ancient stone tablet. Yes, and with Palador's riddle carved on it. Oh, what does it say, Papa Smurf? It says, ga goo gi ga goo ga goo Oh, gee, Palador sure writes funny. It's baby talk. The riddle seems to be written in baby talk. Amazing. <laughs> of course, Palador didn't want the druids to be able to read it, even if they managed to open the capsule. But how will we read it? <laughs> I have a hunch baby Smurf can help. <laughs> You must solve this riddle, Papa Smurf, to stop the druids from walking the earth. Gosh, you were right, Papa Smurf. Rock between rock between rock stops the release of the flock. <laughs> <laughs>
A twig by itself is too weak. It's twigs in a bundle you seek. <laughs> Come, we must study my books on the druids. I have a Smurfy idea. What's that, Smurfette? We should build our own time capsule for future Smurfs to discover. Oh, no. Why didn't I think of that? I could build it in a couple of hours. And we can all put something in it. What an absolutely Smurfy idea. We can show the future how smart I am. Um, how smart we are. It's a great idea. So let's get to it and do it. Yeah! 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 Rock between rock between rock stops the release of the flock. Ah, here it is. Judging from the riddle, we are looking for three rocks. I'm certain one of the rocks mentioned is the obelisk high on Druid Mountain. The second rock must be the legendary Moon Rock Amulet, a magical stone created by the Druids. But what could the third rock be? The one that stops the spell. Gee, Papa Smurf, them doodads sure were something. What'd they look like, anyway? Gosh, I knew I'd be sorry I asked that question. Nevertheless, that's what we're up against. What do we do first, Papa Smurf? Remember, it's twigs in a bundle, I see. So you and Clumsy go gather a bundle of twigs. Meanwhile, I'll try to figure out what the third rock is. We're on our way, Papa Smurf! Uh, yeah! <laughs> yes, baby, this is certainly the most difficult challenge I've ever faced. <sighs> Palador purposely made this riddle extremely difficult so that the druids could never solve it. Oh, I hope he didn't make it so difficult even I can't solve it. <laughs> if I fail, there's no telling what disaster awaits us. for 10,000 years. I'm going to put in a complete set of tools so the future can see how I built such a wonderful capsule. I am going to put in my master face more of a moment so the future can see how creative we are. Well, I was going to put in a mirror, but unfortunately, the future will only see its face in it. The future will never know how handsome I am. I have an idea, Vanity, my friend. I shall put in a painting by me over you. Moi, the thought of it gives me goosebumps. Come, mon ami, we must begin immediately. Oh, but painter, I look such a sight. Don't worry, my friend. I will make you look magnifique. I had better rest for this evening, my brothers. Oh, after all, druids are night people, aren't we, my brothers? Gosh, it's a new dad. But when the rising moon strikes our magic amulet, the flock shall be set free. Once the moon rock amulet breaks Palador's spell, the druids shall create eternal darkness. Uh, oh, daylight is so depressing anyway. <laughs> but after tonight, there will be no tomorrow, only eternal darkness. Oh, what fun it will be. <laughs> Oh, yes, what? What? That's the Moon Rock amulet Palador mentioned in the riddle. Oh, gosh. Uh, we'd better tell Papa Smurf right away. Clumsy, you gotta learn to show initiative. I do? All right. Uh, uh, what's that mean? Initiative. We'll grab that Moon Rock and take it to Papa Smurf. Oh, I was afraid it meant something like that. Come on! One, two, three, Smurf! What? Excited to sleep. Ooh. Well, it won't be long. Soon the moon will rise. The magic amulet will focus the power and release my... What? It's gone. Huh? The 
Holmes have left a trail. My magic walking stick can follow them wherever they go. Whoever took my moon rock shall pay and pay dearly. I'm going to put in one of my spare trumpets. Good idea. Putting in all your trumpets would be a better idea. Hum. Ah, I'm going to put in my spare pillow. All right, Lazy, move along. I'm putting in my favorite poem. Somehow I knew you would. Your poem looks a little long, poet. Huh, critics. Every Smurf's a critic. It's not that, poet. We just have limited room in the capsule. You just have to cut it down a little. Oh, very well. But it won't make any rhyme or reason that way. <coughs> I tell you, Vanity, it is the perfect luckiness. <laughs> No, it's not. My nose is too big, my eyes aren't the right color, and worst of all, it's not my good side. Eh, uh, c'est la vie. I still have the most important part of my masterpiece, my signature. Voila! Hold on just one second, Brainy Smurf. I'm afraid there's barely room left for one of your books. That settles it. Everything has to come out to make room for my books. As every Smurf knows, the complete works of Brainy Smurf are by far the best examples of Smurf culture. Goyabes! My art is by far the best example of Smurf culture! No, no! Poetry is surely a better way to tell the future about us! Well, no, the picture is worth a thousand words! Please, please, my little Smurfs, please! I can't hear myself think with all this arguing. Sorry, Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Hmm. There seems to be an echo in the village today. Why, it's clumsy and hefty. <gasps> we found the doodad and took his magic moon rock. Uh, he was sleeping against a tree. <sighs> it was so heavy. Huh, I never thought we'd make it. I'm very proud of both of you. Hmm, I think I figured out part of the riddle. You, you have? have? Did you get that bundle of twigs I wanted? Uh, we sure did, Papa Smurf. Here. Here, Happy. Can you break this one little twig? Why, sure, Papa Smurf. Easy. Now, try to break the whole bundle at once. Sure. <laughs> Gee, Papa Smurf, I can't break it. That's what the riddle meant by, a twig by itself is too weak. It's twigs in a bundle we seek. Like these twigs, by working together, we can defeat any enemy and solve any problem. It's called unity, my little Smurfs. We're all twigs in one bundle. I love it when he talks like that. Only by unity can the Smurfs survive. Yes, Papa Smurf. And we can start right now, because here comes the druid. <gasps> so, I might have known Parador's old friend Papa Smurf had a part in stealing my moon rock. Now you all shall pay. <laughs> Quick, my little Smurfs, we'll have a parable. Put the amulet in the catapult. But Papa Smurf! Quick! It's our only chance. Fire! Very well, Papa Smurf. I must go and find the amulet. Shrewd of you to know my powers are linked to it. But I shall return before the full moon is one hour old. Phew, that was close. Gee, Papa Smurf, why'd you give it back to him? Because it can't help us. Only the third rock in the riddle can help us. The one that stops the rest of the druids from escaping. Papa Smurf, this mirror rock Palador left in his capsule doesn't work well at all. It makes me look like a goldfish. Hmm, perhaps it's not a mirror at all. All the things in Palador's time capsule were primitive, as though they were left for Palador just like he left them for me. Good wizards must have battled the druids since the beginning of time. So you think the mirror rock is the one that stops the druids' curse? That would seem to be the case. There's not much time left before sundown. I must conjure up some spells. Farmer, painter, smurfette, gather some vines to use as ropes. Handy, find something to cut them with. Palador's axe should do the job. Good. Hefty and clumsy, you'll lead us to the druid's oak tree. Brainy, take care of baby. Yes, Papa. Take care of baby? I was about to offer my intellect, but oh no. All is ready, my brothers. We shall be free as surely as the moon shall rise this night. 
With Palador and his people still locked in stone, we shall rule the forest. There's a pitiful little blue wizard trying to stop us, but he will be dealt with. You won't know what to do. Wait until I have his full attention. Take care of baby. Oh, how absurd. How can Papa Smurf hope to defeat the biggest threat ever to Smurfdom without Smurfdom's biggest brain? <laughs> Prepare, evil druid! What? I challenge you to a battle of magic! <laughs> It'll be my pleasure, Papa Smurf, and your doom! <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh! Oh no! I can't look! Prepare for your doom, Papa Smurf! <laughs> Amazing! Where are you, you little blue beast? The moon is rising! Oh, hurry, Henry! Papa's perfect losing and the moon is almost up! What's going on? Oh, no! It didn't work! My Smurfness! The mirror rock wasn't the third rock after all! Nice try, Papa Smurf, but I'm afraid it will be your last! Uh-oh! I should have known better than to hide behind a dogwood bush! Run, Papa Smurf! Run your little blue tail off! <laughs> his bark is worse than his bite! <laughs> Good dog. Here you go, boy. Want to chase the stick? Fetch, boy, fetch! So, you've outwitted me again, Papa Smurf. But this grows tiresome. This time, I shall... Huh. Where did he go? Hmm. I was so certain Palador left the third magic rock in his time capsule. The stone in the ancient axe. That's the magic rock that stops the spell. No! 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 Well, we've won, my little Smurfs. The druids are gone. Thanks, Smurfness. This only happens every 500 years or so. I don't know how we did it. We did it by working together, Handy. Unity is what saved the day. Every Smurf did his part. <laughs> My sentiments exactly, baby Smurf. <laughs> Let's go home. holiday will be extra special, because this year, we have Baby Smurf. Yay! <laughs> Let's get Smurf and Smurfs and make this a holiday Baby Smurf will never forget. <laughs> you see, little one, at this time of year, we celebrate the spirit of giving. We celebrate by making music. That's funny. Everyone is off key but me. We celebrate by making goodies. Here, you two can help me pull this Smurfberry taffy. You pull, I'll supervise. All right now, clumsy. Pull to the right. Now to the left. Up in the air. To the side. Behind your back. No, no, no. You're doing it all wrong. Here, let me. Oops. Papa Smurf! We celebrate by gathering mistletoe from the great oak tree. Here's another one! 
That's plenty handy. We kiss under the mistletoe. <laughs> I hate kissing. And we use the mistletoe to decorate the village. That's not the only thing we'll be decorating, Papa Smurf. These red and green dinies will really put Baby in the holiday spirit. I've made enough to last Baby the rest of the year. Baba, I think you go for me. What a beautiful time of year. Seems like the whole world is filled with love and holiday cheer. <laughs> this year, jolly old Mr. Nicholas is going to bring us what we want, Azriel. It's about time he answered one of my letters. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Nicholas, I have been a good boy this year. For Christmas, I would like a Smurf. Since I've been extra good, make that six Smurfs. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Gargamel. I know I write the same letter every year, Azriel, but someday he's bound to fall for it. One must be persistent. Look at this. Every year I get a tiny package like this, and every year it explodes. Well, this year I'm not going to fall for it. Yo! Oh, ouch, 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 ouch! You! Drat those Smurfs! Please, Mr. Nicholas, please bring me Smurfs this year! Please, Mr. Nicholas, please! Please! Mr. Nicholas, Mr. Nicholas, I'm sick to death of hearing about this man! Every wretched Christmas he spreads the spirit of giving all over the kingdom! And giving is an act of love! Oh, how I hate love! Well, Mr. Nicholas, this Christmas I have a special present for you. The kiss of hate! Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. My, my, my. Oh, every year my list of children gets longer and longer. This year, twice the toys to deliver on Christmas Eve. Ah, well, <laughs> twice the smiles on Christmas morning. Well, what have we here? A little puppy. You must be cold and hungry. Now, don't you worry about a thing, little one. Now, don't you worry about a thing, Mother. I'll take good care of you. Oh, Eric, I wish you could have a nice Christmas like your friends, with a fine Christmas dinner and all the trimmings. Alas, all we have is a little bread. We have each other, and that's all that matters. You just get some sleep now. Dear Mr. Nicholas, how have you been? I have been a pretty good boy this year. I do not need anything for myself this Christmas. But please make my mother get well. Love, Eric Norton. <laughs> oh, Mr. Nicholas, do I have a gift for you? Look there! <gasps> it's Glorhydris! Whoa! Whoa! Mistletoe! Yes, milady. Oh, I don't need much. Just a little mistletoe is enough for a kiss. After all, Mr. Nicholas would be the last one to break a Christmas tradition. <laughs> Will this do, milady? Splendid. What would Chlorhydris want with mistletoe? It is a symbol of love, the thing she hates most. The Shavu. She is planning something evil. We must investigate. I hate investigating! Drive on, Reeves! Another batch of letters from the children. Oh, it's too bad I don't have a bunch of little elves to help me. <laughs> Dear Mr. Nicholas, I have been a good boy this year. For Christmas, I would like a Smurf. <laughs> this Gargamel, every year he asks for a Smurf, and I haven't the vaguest idea what he's talking about. <laughs> a strange little boy, very strange indeed. Good evening, good woman, and Merry Christmas to you. I 
I am your new neighbor, and I've come to bring you holiday cheer. Well, the more cheer, the merrier, I always say. <laughs> Who is that, Papa Smurf? That's Mr. Nicholas, the man that makes presents for the children every Christmas. But why would Chlorhydrus pay him the visit? Merry Christmas to you! And Merry Christmas to... Christmas? Who cares about Christmas? <laughs> out, out! From now on, beg somewhere else! It worked! <laughs> the kiss of hate worked! <laughs> what? Ow! Take me home, Reeves! And make haste! Yeah! <laughs> there will be no presents for the children this year. Or any year! <laughs> I'll fry a few and pickle a few and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few and roast a few and boil six months for gold. Oh, Azriel, I've decided that Christmas is my favorite time of year. Because this Christmas, I'm sure to get six Smurfs. Oh, I'll fry a few and pickle a few and serve a few real cold. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Be gone, you sniveling pests! Worthless little brats! Oh, I'll fry a few and pickle a few and serve a few real cold. Hmm. When a piece of mistletoe shrivels up and burns, it means a kiss has been used for evil. You mean Chlorhydrus put a spell on Mr. Nicholas? I'm afraid so, Handy. Oh, this poor little puppy. How could Mr. Nicholas be so cruel? Because, Smurfette, Chlorhydra's spell has apparently taken away his love. He was such a nice man. Can't you give him back his love, Papa Smurf? No, Taylor, I cannot. Love must come from within. It must come from within his own heart. Oh, I think I'll sleep through Christmas and forget the whole business. Liver pate! Who will finish the toys? And who will deliver them? Well, my little Smurfs, would you be willing to give up your holiday to complete Mr. Nicholas' work? We, we sure, sure will! We won't let that mean Chlorhydra spoil anybody's Christmas! But work quietly, so we do not awaken Mr. Nicholas. We'll help poor Mr. Nicholas and bring the children cheer and all the extra Smurfy things they love this time of year. Tommy would like a rocking horse. Frederick would like a drum, of course. Kitty would like a doll that talks. Billy would like a check in the box. What fun to work, because we know we'll bring the children joy. Faces will appear on every girl and boy. What fun to work because we know we'll bring the children joy. And happy faces will appear on every girl and boy. How Grouchy! Happy faces! I told you to find happy faces! I hate happy faces! Well, my little Smurfs, we've made a gift for every child who wrote a letter to Mr. Nicholas. Sure. Oh, yeah. That was really close. We answered every single letter. I just need a little more wrapping paper. Maybe I'll smurf some of this closet. Papa Smurf! Well, my little Smurfs, it looks as though our work isn't finished What yet. is going on in here? Who are you little imps? And what are you doing in my house? <laughs> And what are you doing here? Let's Smurf out of here, Papa Smurf. Don't be afraid. Mr. Nicholas is a good man who happens to be under an evil spell. I am not under any spell. And you still have not explained your presence here. We are Smurfs, and we are here to help you finish your work and see that your Christmas gifts are delivered. Bah! 
I wash my hands of this giving nonsense. But if you want to waste your time, go ahead. Quickly, Smurfs, we have no time to lose. We'll need another toy fire engine, and four more rag dolls, six teddy bears, and some building blocks. Amazing. I never thought we'd finish. This is the last one, Papa Smurf. Thank you, Baby Smurf. <laughs> Climb aboard, Smurfs. We're all ready to go. We did it. We Smurf presents for all the children. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! All right, Big Deer. Giddy up. Please, my friends, make haste. We're in a great hurry. Oh, Papa Smurf, the reindeer won't move. I hate not moving. Possibly Chlorhydra's keys to them as well. No, they are just well trained. They will not move without their master. I'm afraid Chlorhydra's plan has succeeded. There is no way we can deliver these gifts. <laughs> Better put out the candle, Eric. It's the last we have. Yes, Mother. Sleep well. I just know you'll feel better in the morning. After all, tomorrow is Christmas. Yes, but we don't even have enough money to buy a candle, let alone a Christmas dinner. I tell you, Azriel, this will be the best Christmas dinner we've ever had. Smurfs in cranberry sauce, with plum stuffing, ginger smurf cookies, and smurf pie. Mmm! Mmm! And of course, I'll have to make a big bowl of Christmas smurf punch. It's the punch part I like best. <laughs> but it will only happen if Mr. Nicholas fills my Christmas stockings with smurfs. We'd better get to sleep so the old fool can sneak in here and make my Christmas wish come true. After all, I have been a kind and generous person all year. I deserve a reward. Just one thing left to do. I say a holiday is what you make of it. And I made this holiday just the way I like it. No comfort, no joy, no spirit of giving. <laughs> all in all, this is going to be the merriest Christmas I ever had. <laughs> Why did I ever get involved with giving presents to children? <laughs> I thought I told you all to leave. Mr. Nicholas, your reindeer will not make the trip without you. That's your problem now. Now, see here, Mr. Nicholas. You started this whole tradition of holiday giving. It's up to you to keep it going. Well, I'm not going anywhere. And that means my reindeer aren't going anywhere. And that means those presents aren't going anywhere. Oh, Papa Smurf, isn't there any way to break that mean? Perhaps if we could help him remember how he used to feel. Well, who let you back in my house? What's this? Another stupid letter? Oh, dear Mr. Nicholas, I do not need anything for myself for Christmas. But please make my mother get well. Love, Eric Norton. The poorest boy in town, yet all he asks is that his mother be well. A heart full of joy can put strength into the frailest of bodies. Especially the kind of joy you bring, Mr. Nicholas. You just can't give up. But I just don't feel the way I used to. <laughs> oh, but, hey, uh, get off my beard. <laughs> hey, you better come out of there. <laughs> Stop that. Oh, <laughs> <Here it tickles. laughs> oh. Why am I? I feel a bit dizzy. You do? Good. The natural love that dwells in your heart has been revived with Eric's letter and Baby Smurf's kiss. Yay! Ah, I do feel as if a great weight has been lifted from my heart. 
Oh, 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 oh. Hello there, little puppy. Have you met Baby Smurf? <laughs> oh, my goodness. My deliveries. Yes, Papa Smurf, they are a fine team of reindeer, but they'll never be able to reach all the homes in the village by Christmas morning. There just isn't time. Your reindeer seem anxious to try to make the trip, Mr. Nicholas. We oui, oui, they seem most eager. Well, I suppose we could try. Ah, amazing! A reindeer! We're, we're flying! I hate flying! Flying reindeer! It's a miracle! Then let's get smurfing! Fly away, my friends! Mr. Nicholas and his reindeer are flying. And it looks like he has little blue elves helping him. <gasps> They're gone. Flying reindeer and little blue elves? Oh, I must be dreaming. Mother! Mother! Mr. Nicholas left us a Christmas tree and a Christmas dinner. <laughs> Oh, my, my. Mr. Nicholas outdid himself this year. I don't know how he does it. Mother, you shouldn't be out of bed. But I feel much stronger, son. <laughs> In fact, I'm so happy I feel healthy again. Oh, Mother, this is the best Christmas ever. <laughs> This is going to be the best Christmas ever, because it will be the worst Christmas ever! <laughs> oh. Oh. There's a little boy with a sick mother living in that house. Oh. I can't pass this up! Reeves, stop here! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I'm sure the little twit has been crying his eyes out ever since he woke up this morning and found nothing in his Christmas stocking but Lent. <laughs> oh, how I love Tate! <laughs> huh? Curses! Somehow Mr. Nicholas must have broken my spell. I'll get that jolly old geezer yet. Or my name. We isn't Claire Hydras. Home, Reeves! Quickly! <laughs> Not without me, you stupid, dim-witted idiot! I wonder how many Smurfs Mr. Nicholas has left me. Huh? Nothing, Matriel! The stupid fool left me nothing again this year! Nothing, nothing, nothing! Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something in this one. <laughs> My letter didn't fool Mr. Nicholas one bit. Well, I guess there's only one thing I can do, and that is be good until next Christmas. Good? What am I saying? Merry Christmas, indeed. <laughs> Happy holiday, baby Smurf! <laughs> oh, très bon. Baby's first holiday turned out to be magnifique. But you know, Papa Smurf, I still don't understand how Mr. Nicholas's reindeer learned to fly. I don't understand it myself, Andy. It is something which will forever remain <laughs> a great mystery. <laughs>
<laughs> not the last, Leon. Not the last. Piece of cake. Why, but even Clumsy can do it. I'm ready to do What's that? Boom, boom, boom. I know it goes boom, 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 but what's making the boom, boom, boom? It's Thunder Taylor. Everyone knows that. When the cold air currents of the north smurf with the. Then how come the sun is shining, Mr. Brittany Smurf? Well, obviously, you know nothing about physics. Physics, physics. Well, you got no clouds, you got no thunder. I hate thunder. Well, it is certainly obvious that Baby is definitely not in his chair. Baby! Baby, where are you? I hate this. Baby! And we caught a little blue baby rabbit, too. This isn't a little blue rabbit, stupid. It's not furry. It hasn't got big floppy ears. What we have here is a leprechaun. And maybe a pot of gold. This leprechaun's worth more than a whole wagon full of rabbits. <laughs> All right, my little Smurfs. Baby Smurf is out in that forest somewhere alone. We must begin a search immediately. Baby! Baby Smurf, where are you? Hey, look what I found. Baby's toy. I found something too, Taylor Smurf. <laughs> no, no. What's the matter, little fellow? What? Poachers? His mother and baby Smurf have been caught by poachers. Oh, oh no! no! So that's what it was. Bunny says the sound you heard was the drum the poachers used to run the rabbits toward the traps. We've got to rescue Baby Smurf. Oh, poor Baby! In you go, Rabbit. Your new home. <laughs> At least for a while. <laughs> All right, Leprechaun, tell me, where's the pot of gold? Uh, master, that sounds like baby talk to me. Well, of course it would sound like baby talk to you. What do you know about speaking Leprechaunese? He just told me that wild horses couldn't get the secret of the pot of gold out of them. Come, Leon. It's time to check the other traps. All right, Clumsy. You and Greedy take Baby Bunny back to the rabbit warren. Yes, Papa Smurf. The rest of you go back to the village and organize all the Smurfs. If the furrier will not free Baby, we may have to fight. Meet me at the furrier's camp. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, my! My fellow Smurfs, you have probably all wondered where I have been. 
Well, where have you been? I have been with Papa Smurf searching for Baby Smurf. We have discovered Baby has been kidnapped by the Furrier. Oh, oh no! Farmer Smurf? Yes, F.D. You get the Smurf Fairy Pies from Greedy. I think 200 pies should be enough. That should do the trick, F.D. Andy, you make sure the catapult is in working order. Smurfette will help you. Come on, Smurfette. the same way, Smurfette. We're coming, Baby Smurf. We're, We're coming, coming, Baby Smurf. Smurf. Understand it. Every single trap has been opened. Not a single catch. It must have been a couple of poachers. Shh! Don't say that, Janini. We're the poachers. This is King Gerard's forest. It was a lucky thing we caught that little blue leprechaun because we don't have enough fur to outfit an elf. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Leon? I said we still have three traps to check. Right. You do it while I make sure of my little pot of gold. Hurry, my friend. There is no time to lose. Oh, looky, looky, looky what we have here. Another one of them little blue leprechauns. The master will be happy to have two of them, even if this one is a little old and run down. The master will be double rich now. Instead of one pot of gold, he'll have two. But why should he have all the gold? Just because he talks leprechaunese? Why shouldn't I be rich too? I'll just tell the master we didn't catch nothing and come back for you later. Then I'll have a pot of gold too. <laughs> Oh, looks like we did catch something. Me. Amazing. It's all right. You can come out now. I would like to stay and thank you properly, my dear friend. But I've no time to lose. I must get to the furriers. Baby Smurf is in grave danger. you all. I'm going to be a rich man. You're a bad man. Yes, Papa Smurf. If you do not give up Mother Rabbit and Baby Smurf, I will not be responsible for the consequences. Yes, yeah, that's right. right. Papa 
the Smurf, this never would have happened if we had taken proper care of Baby. But we'll be more careful next time. Well, this shows you that not smurfing attention to matters at hand can cause a lot of trouble. But the important thing is, Baby is safe and sound. Do you think the poachers will ever come back to our forest, Papa Smurf? I rather doubt it, Smurfette, but... They're back! Run for your Smurfs! It sounds like it's coming from behind Hefty's house. Why, thank you, Smurfette. Would you smurf down that vase on the bookshelf, Clumsy? Oh, sure, Papa Smurf. I'll have to get something to stand on. Oh, that stool ought to do it. Ouch! Poor Papa Smurf. His gout must be getting worse. No, 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 no! I will not sit still one moment longer. Now, gather around, my little Smurfs. I have a very big favor to ask of you. Behind a waterfall in the distant valley of Nodrog is a cave. In that cave is a remarkable stone called the Smurf Stone. According to my old book, the Smurf Stone has magical healing powers. It may be the only thing that can cure my gout. Oh! Well then, I'll just have to lead an expedition to find the Smurf Stone. After all, I'm obviously the Smurf best suited for the job. You certainly are a brave Smurf, Brainy to volunteer to enter the cave of the Molians. The Molians? Yes, Molians. My book says the Molians are the guardians of the Smurf Stone. Uh, well, actually, I was thinking that it uh, might not be such a good idea for me to go. I mean, with Papa Smurf indisposed, some Smurf will have to look after things in the village, right? Uh, you're right, Brady. I don't think we can spare you. But because of the danger, I want three volunteers. I'm the strongest, Smurf. I'm the one who should lead this expedition. It's gonna take a little muscle to take on those Molians. Well, I think it's gonna take some real ingenuity to bring back this Smurf stone, and that I should lead the expedition. You? What if you can't lift the Smurf stone? What are you gonna do then, huh? No, no, I'm grateful to both of you for your enthusiasm. Uh, why don't you combine your talents and both go? Well, all right, Papa Smurf. It's all right with me, too. Well, then, it's settled. Now I need just one more volunteer. Hey, you're you're fine, fine. Oh, I'm a Lazy! Ah, I'm deeply Smurf. Lazy is the third member of the team. Lazy? Huh, what's going on? Oh, you're such brave Smurfs to do this for Papa Smurf. Are you sure about sending Lazy with us, Papa Smurf? Yeah, he'll only slow us down. Hefty, you must use your strength to help your fellow Smurfs. Handy, your talents will surely be needed on this dangerous mission. Use them wisely. Lazy? Lazy? Uh, Lazy, your um, uh, uh, calmness in the face of danger will be invaluable. I have my doubts. And now, my little Smurf adventurers, the village thanks you, I thank you, and most importantly, my poor foot thanks you. Hooray! Goodbye! Good luck! We'll miss you! Smurf back soon! This could be the most difficult job I've done since I built Smurf Dam. You built Smurf Dam? I did all the heavy work. Heaviest thing you lifted was a pencil. Can we stop and rest now? Whew! Is this fog thick? I can barely smurf my hand in front of my face. Hold up! Hey, smurf where you're going, Lazy! Oh, sorry. This sure would be a lot easier if we had a map. A map? Oh, what a smurfy idea. Listen, do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Me... Oh, either. That's just it. There's no birds, no insects. I never smurfed any place like this before. Look! The waterfall! And there's the cave behind it! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.
is that? Sure is dark in here. Yeah, sure is. Doesn't look any different to me. Of course, my eyes are usually closed. Oh, well, this ought to make things a little easier. Come on, let's smurf this way. Look out! Is everybody all right? I think so. Yeah. Looks like we can rest now. This doesn't look good. If we don't find a way out, we'll run out of air. Don't worry. We're not finished yet. Well, you can both thank your lucky Smurf that I'm along on this trip. Yes, I guess it was a good idea. Oh, the air must be thin in here, or this backpack is getting heavier. Uh, I think you have some extra baggage, Hefty. Oh, I was having the smurfiest dream. I was riding this big old horse when... Whoop! Help! Help! Hold on, Handy! I'll pull you up! What happened? Just slipped! Oh, well, that was close! Well, maybe it's not very deep. We'll be across in a jiffy. You did it, Andy! I'll go first. You just do what I do. You see? Nothing to it! Who's next? Well, I guess the worst that can happen is... Not very graceful, but nothing to it. Come on, Lazy, you can do it! Well, maybe I should get some rest first, or... Come on! Whoa! Hey, that was fun. I... I... What's wrong, Handy? Maybe he needs a rest. I... I be speaker, leader say, ye be dragons, ye be dragons for sure. Dragons? Tell them we're Smurfs, plain, ordinary, everyday Smurfs. Yeah, can't you see we're not dragons? Uh, uh, see? What be see? Of course you can't see. You've got hair all over your... Uh, uh, gosh, what tiny little eyes. No wonder you don't see very well. Go to see me, I got Smurfs. You're coming get here. Smurf, Smurf, Smurf. They got me. Leader say, Smurf, Smurf. We be dragons for sure. We be feeling the heat of your dragon breath forever. That be where your nest be. Blind my kids back, Celia. Leader say, we make sure he send for Feeler. Feeler? What's he gonna do? Sh sh shake hands? Ow! Hey. Ow! Ow! Hey! Ow. Hey! That tickle! <laughs> like in the Zebra way. Hey, boy. No, 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 no. Feeler say, you don't feel like dragons. Now come Smeller. <laughs> They say, they don't smell like dragons. Well, that ought to convince you. We told you we're not. But you don't, you I feel them. Leader say, you might not be dragons. Well, now you're smurfing. So, we find out what you be. Leader call for Taster. You know what I smurf? Is it the same thing I'm smurfing? That's it! Let's smurf out of here! We have two choices. We can try to climb this wall, or we can turn and fight. Hmm. That would be a long climb. A lot of hard work, and nowhere to rest. Lazy! This is no time to be lazy! You know, I think it's a smurfy time to be lazy. Now, I may not be a good climber, but there's one thing I do very well. Lazy, come back here! Lazy, come back here! I sure know how to snore. Dragons! Thousands of them! Lazy Smurf, you saved the day! How did you ever think of that? 
Well, it was easier than climbing. We better smurf out of here before they change their minds. Follow me. I think I know the way out. Hey, this is where the Molians said the dragon's nest was. We'll have to take that chance. How about taking a nap? Wait a minute. It might be dangerous. I'll smurf a look. Phew, it's hot. And there's bright light. Not only that, there's a giant egg. Good. I thought so. Come on. The Smurf Stone. I thought it might be. It was when the Molians said they felt the heat of the dragon's breath, I simply concluded that... Oh, it's great to be a Smurf. Yep, it sure is. I'm very proud of you, my little Smurfs. You not only found the Smurf Stone, you also found the natural worthiness of your fellow Smurfs. Yay! Now, let's see if that Smurf Stone does what legend says it does. Here you are, Pop Smurf! <laughs> it's cured! My gout is cured! Yay! The only thing is, I think it broke my toe. Oh, you're absolutely handsome. Handsome. I don't know what I'd do without you. Don't go away. I'll be right back. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Hi, Vanity. I got a surprise. Oh, you can't fool me, Jokey. When I open that box, it will explode. You have my smurf and it won't explode. Well, all right. Like I said, it didn't explode. But I didn't say anything about mud pies. <laughs> oh, yum, yum. Oh, heaven. Mm, mm, yum, yum, a total taste treat. Mm. Greedy, here's a special pie I picked just for you. Why, thank you, Jokey. When it comes to fresh pie, it is surely better to receive than to give. Oh, it's fresh, all right. <laughs> ah! Water! 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 <laughs> What's wrong? Didn't you like my fresh hot pepper pie? <laughs> you know, Jokey, I don't think there is a chance in the world that you could even go one day without pulling one of your dumb, stupid Charlie jokes. As much chance as you go in one day without stuffing your face. Or Vanity not looking at himself in the mirror. Or Harmony not playing his horn. Or Grouchy not hating something. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Jokey Smurf, if you can go for a whole day with no jokes, then I can engage in the ultimate sacrifice. No mirrors for a whole day. Oh, you gorgeous hunk of Smurf. Farewell. There. See? Oh, the agony. Well, I guess I can easily go a day without hearing my mellow sounds. Question is, can you? I hate not browning. Okay, okay, and no sleeping. Yeah, I agree. Just keep quiet for a whole day. No sleeping? What am I saying? Well, if all you Smurfs can go for 24 hours without doing those things you like to do, then I can go for a whole day with no breaks. In fact, I could probably go for a whole year. Okay, smarty tights. If we live up to our end of the bargain, then no jokes for a whole year. How about that? Why not? <laughs> I'll catch those Smurfs in the act of not living up to the deal. Or my name isn't Jokey Smurf. Caught ya. Almost caught ya. No matter what happens, Papa Smurf, please, please don't let me have my mirrors until the 24 hours are up. You have my Smurf on it, Vanity. Thanks. I needed that. Oh, hi, Lazy. 
I just heard this terrific lullaby. You want to hear it? Oh, yeah. Happy dreams and good night. Close your eyes and sleep tight. You have had a long day. Now it's time to hit say. Happy dreams and good night. Close your eyes and sleep tight. Be a good little smurf. I'm still awake. Oh, I'm so beautiful. Smurfberry cake and mom and boy. Seven layers of smurfberry ice. Jackie, you're not being fair. Oh, my fondest dreams have become reality. Oh, you gorgeous, lovely cake. Greedy, no. Oh, I need willpower. Willpower. I need, I need, I need this cake. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I haven't looked at myself in two hours and 26 minutes. I certainly hope worrying about it hasn't caused me to develop any wrinkles. Hi, Vanity. It looks like you're getting a wart on your nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A what? A what? A what? Oh, ultimate horror, terror, dread. Why not check it out in this mirror? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Jokey. I'm going to prove to you willpower is just one of my many qualities. I can't stand the tension. I must play my horn. I've got to go somewhere where Jokey will never see me. Somewhere isolated. Somewhere private. Somewhere far, far away. Harmony Smurf without music is like Papa Smurf without fatherly advice. Like Smurfette without beauty. Like Jokey without jokes. Like a, yoink, a trap. Just as I planned. It's curtains for you, Smurf. You're washed up, finished, kaput. I'm not sure I like this willpower contest you Smurfs are having. While a strong will is a good quality, one should Smurf all things in moderation. Thereby, that's Harmony Smurf. Oh, goody, Papa Smurf! Oh, goody, I won, I won! Yeah! I knew that old Harmony couldn't go 24 hours without blowing his horn! Yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, blow your heart out, you little blue bean brain! Perhaps more Smurfs will come to help, and then we'll just help ourselves. <laughs> right, Azriel? <laughs> Handsome Smurf, how wonderful to see you again! Smurfberry cake, Smurfberry stubbly flambe. Do you know? Come to me, my melancholy warlock. Uh, I guess not. I never was a fan of contemporary music. Now it's time for you to face the music. <laughs> He's not playing. Something is wrong. Nothing's wrong. Everything's great. <laughs> there was something, something different about the sound of his horn. Almost uh, desperate. He always sounds like that. Mm, yum, yum. Oh, boy. boy, that harmony sure had no willpower. None. None. Now the four of us have to suffer Jokey's pranks for a whole year. Just because Harmony had no willpower. But oh, it was worth it. I hate willpower. It sounded as if Harmony's music was inspired by fear, not his usual smurfy joy. Mm, yum, mm. Hmm. That horn blast was coming from the direction of Gargamel's hovel. I hate Gargamel's hovel. 
Papa Smurf, do you think Harmony's in trouble? I really hate trouble. From the sound of it, he may well be in big trouble. Jokey, I need your help. I want you to concentrate on making a very special present. A surprise like you've never made before. Now, here's what you should do. I might be running away a little bit too <laughs> oh, well, concentrate, Papa Smurf. But how can we be certain that Gargamel will open the box? Hmm. Well? Hmm. Yes, that's it. I've got it. It'll work even if he doesn't open it. We'll dispense with the dinner music. It might give me heartburn. <laughs> I figure by making Smurf soup, I can stretch you over a few days. Nope. Gee. At least my music will live on. Oh, I'm so thoroughly, completely, wonderfully rotten. How am I rotten? Let me count the ways. One, I am rotten to children and cute little furry animals. Two, I am rotten when I trip feeble little old ladies who are trying to cross the road. Three, I am rotten because I never visit my mummy. Four, I am rotten because I haven't brushed my tooth in 26 years. <laughs> and five, and most importantly, I am rotten because I love little blue smurfs. I love them fricasseed, poached, fondued. Are you sure this will work, Papa Smurf? If Gargamel can read, it'll work, Vanity. <laughs> Set her down. Now who can this be? Now run, my little Smurfs. For me? Hmm, I wonder who it's from. Ah, here's the tag. Do not open until your birthday. And I mean it. Signed, Mummy. But, but, but my birthday is months away. Oh, she's so strict. Uh, I wonder what's in it. Pureed wombat wings? A do-it-yourself vampire kit? Gargoyle socks? Our plan is working. Follow me. Should I open it? Or should I wait until my birthday? I'll wait. No, I won't. I'll open it. No, I won't. Yes, I will. No, I won't. Oh, what I need is willpower. Maybe I should wait until my birthday. Maybe not. Maybe not. What would Mummy say? Well, well, she'd never know. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes, I will. No, I won't. Will power. Yes, I will. No, I won't. I shall. I shan't. What was in that box, Jokey? Oh, just a little test of Gargamel's willpower. Only bigger. <laughs> Oh, I knew I should have waited until my birthday. I... Now, my little Smurfs, according to my astral charts, the meteor shower is due to begin this evening. Omnibus and I will be making very Smurfy scientific observations of this event. The meteor shower... All right, Smurf, out of the way. Out of the way. Papa Smurf's assistant's coming through. Uh, here you go, Brady. Let me help. Clumsy, no! This is valuable scientific paraphernalia. It must be handled by an incredibly intelligent Smurf. Uh, trained in uh, scientific matters. Clumsy, will you please... Whoa. Oh, no! No, no, no! Oh, oh. oh clumsy. You broke Vanity's mirror. Do you know what that means? Oh, gosh, no! That's bad luck. Seven unsmurfy years of bad luck. Seven years of bad luck? Seven years is too good for it. Don't smurf any attention to that, Clumsy. It's just a lot of superstitious nonsense. But Papa Smurf, there's firm scientific evidence. Brainy, enough. Now, enjoy the meteor shower, my little Smurfs. I'll be back in a few days. Have a Smurfy time, Papa Smurf. Smurf, hello to Homnibus for us. Goodbye, Papa Smurf. And remember, Clumsy, Papa Smurf isn't always right. Oh, he isn't? Of course not. But I am absolutely certain I'm right about the seven years of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Bad luck. It's starting already. I think this Smurf melon is a little too heavy for your cart, Farmer. Yeah, yeah. Some melon by Smurfy, my biggest ever. <laughs>
Oh, maybe if I can get Taylor to sew this for me, my bad luck will be over, Brainy. Forget it, Clumsy. This is just the beginning. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. Yeah! Oh! You all right, Handy? You all right? Fine, Clumsy, fine. Just keep away from me. Oh, oh! Look out! Whoa! Oh, no! More bad luck. How's this, Danger? Ah, uh, Mademoiselle Smurfette, you are the creme de la creme, the Smurfy Bun Bun, the feminine... Oh! <laughs> Sacre Smurf, my masterpiece! My flower! My song! My mom! My dignity! Oh, my bad luck? You bet. And while, as you all know, I am not the pushy type, in Papa Smurf's absence, I must take charge and make this crucial decision. Clumsy must be kept isolated to protect the rest of us from his bad luck. Rainy Smurf, this is outrageous! Don't you treat Clumsy in this cruel and humiliating way just because of your ridiculous superstition! Ridiculous? <laughs> My fellow Smurfs! Well, uh, it does look Maybe bad. Maybe a short quarter. Until Papa Smurf. I say lock him up. Uh, if I might say something... <laughs> oh. Oh, no. I'm coming, baby! I'm coming! Oh, baby! Baby! Are you all right? <laughs> well, Spurfat? Oh, clumsy. I have to stay inside for seven years. Well, Clumsy, look at it this way. Seven years is only about 60,000 hours. It'll fly by. I, uh, guess you're right, Brain. Of course I'm right. See you then. <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, well, Omnibus, I hope my little Smurfs are watching. I'm sure they are. A meteor shower is a great natural wonder. Fifteen. A natural wonder, indeed. It makes us realize how small we all are. Ah! <gasps> of course, some of us are smaller than others. <laughs> oh. ah. This is the most spectacular sight I've ever seen. <laughs> Forty-seven? Forty-eight? Counting meteors, Brady? Uh, sort of hefty. Uh, Forty-nine? Fifty? This is an impressive sight, I must say. And those meteors aren't bad either. Oh! This isn't fair. Clumsy shouldn't be missing all this. Well, I'm smurfing an end to this ridiculous quarantine right now. Sixty-four. My heaven! Oh. oh, Clumsy! It's Clumsy's house! Oh. Good heavens! I've heard of bad luck, but this is ridiculous. That meteor looked like it might have landed near the village, Omnibus. Unbelievable! The odds! Pardon my abrupt departure, but I have to see if my little Smurfs are all right. Of course. Be on your way. I hope all is well. If we hurry, we can be there by sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> this is a moment so bittersweet. A great masterpiece on such a sad monument. The tomb of the Smurf unlucky. <laughs> Smurf, I hereby dedicate the Clumsy Commemorative Mirror. Not only to commemorate Clumsy's bad luck, but to make the shrine a more interesting place to visit. <laughs> oh, my Smurfness, no! Oh, Papa Smurf, you're back! It's terrible, Papa Smurf, it's terrible! It can't be! It can't be! Clumsy isn't... Yes, Papa Smurf. I'm afraid Clumsy has... 
How can I put this delicately? Smurf the bucket. I hate to say I told you so, Papa Smurf, but Clumsy definitely had bad luck. I mean, the odds against this must be a billion Smurfillion to one, if not more. My poor Clumsy. My poor Clumsy. Uh, ow! Oh, gosh. This sleeping outdoors is a little rough. I guess I'd better get used to it, though, now that no Smurf wants me around. Oh, gosh, Mr. Squirrel. Thanks for sharing your food with me. I'll be learning how to Smurf off the land myself soon. Friends quarantined me so I wouldn't bring them any more bad luck. But I decided <clears throat> to move way out of here <clears throat> to be sure I wouldn't hurt them. <laughs> Gosh, looks like my bad luck follows me everywhere. Even in life, he collected rocks and loved to play in the dirt. <laughs> and though he was an unlucky Smurf, he went too fast to hurt. Thank you, poet. Very touching. And now, if I might say a few words about our departed fellow Smurf. Seven years away from my friends. Gosh, that's practically a lifetime. And, uh, suppose they forget all about me. <laughs> seven years! Seven years! Oh, it'll be terrible! <laughs> I've got to go back. I've got to smurf one more look at my friends before I go away for <laughs> seven years! And I think, at this time of great sorrow, it's important to remember that this meteorite is more than a tomb, more than a monument to a great friend. It's a monument to me, Brainy Smurf. For wasn't it I who predicted Clumsy would have seven years' bad luck? More like seven hours, Brainy. So I was a little off on the timing. Brainy Smurf, I've had enough. Here's what I think of your unsmurfy superstition. Oh, Smurf, that's at the minimum 7,000 years of bad luck. Oof! Be quiet, Brainy. All we should be thinking about is that Clumsy is... Clumsy is... Oh, God! <laughs> Smurf, that's right. That's all that matters. Clumsy is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll miss me so. What have I done? My bad luck hurts my friends no matter how far away I go. <laughs> he has the heart like the little peppercorn. Hey, who had the heart like the little peppercorn? <laughs> Monsieur Clumsy, Monsieur Clumsy Smurf. Oh no, not Monsieur Clumsy. Oh no, Monsieur Clumsy. Oh, and a Smurf and Monsieur Clumsy. Hey, wait a minute. I'm Monsieur Clumsy. <laughs> Clumsy! Clumsy? Oh, Clumsy, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Smurfness. We thought we'd never see you again. My little Clumsy. Oh, I've never been so happy to see a Smurf in my life. <laughs> never so happy. Smurf, oh, Smurf, Clumsy. If you'd have been in your house, your goose would have been cooked. Yeah, Clumsy, you sure are lucky. Yeah, lucky. Lucky. <laughs> lucky. Of all the superstitious nonsense, it was merely a matter of... <laughs> You try to be rational, and what does it get you? You're absolutely right, Hasriel. The full moon is particularly lovely in its final phase. And we both know what that means, don't we? At sunrise, the great book of spells will be at my command all day long. And it will be a long day indeed for the Smurfs. <laughs> Is every Smurf here? 
Yes, Papa Smurf. <laughs> It looks like rain. I was hoping to replace the roof on my house today. Take a work crew out to the mushroom fields and find a new roof. We'll be back before lunch, Papa Smurf. Come, Azriel. It's time. I know it's spooky down here, but the great book likes it that way. Why, you miserable coward! Now, where did I drop that candle? Oh, I wish I had a little light to see by. Why, thank you! Yeah! Oh, you cowardly little beast! Well, are you speaking to me? Uh, no, no, oh, 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 the great book of spells. Uh, uh, you're awake. How could I possibly sleep with all the racket you're making? Forgive me, O oh Great Book of Spells, uh, but as you know, the final phase of the full moon has just occurred, and, well... I know, I know. I owe you one full day of wishes. Let's just get it over with. I, I think I finally figured out exactly the spell that I need. You have? Yes, this time it's foolproof. Nothing is foolproof where you're involved. Uh, well, uh, what I need is a spell that will create a new Smurf village. A village so much better than the old Smurf village that the little blue beasts will flock to it. And when they move in, <laughs> that's when I spring the trap. Oh, all right. Find ye a place where the mushrooms grow. Grind up the feathers of a full-grown crow. Add to, to this, this toenails from, from a badger's toe. toe. Over the, the mushrooms, mushrooms, this mixture throw. Oh, isn't it breathtaking, Azriel? Marvelous! Now all we have to do is fill it with Smurfs. <laughs> Ah, there's a band of the little blue twits right now. Handy, these mushroom caps aren't nearly big enough for Papa Smurf's roof. Maybe there's a big one down near the river. No, 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 not that way, you stupid fools. The other way to the new Smurf village. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Ouch. I don't understand it. Every time you give me a spell, you leave something out. I leave nothing out, you witless wizard. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But what I need is a way to attract the Smurfs to the new village. Uh, find ye two mirrors of equal size. Rub on, on the, the wings, wings of dragonflies. Dragon stick, stick out your, your tongue and cross your eyes. eyes. And say three times the word, advertise, advertise, advertise! <laughs> Nothing happened! Ugh, the spell didn't work! <laughs> What's the matter with you? Huh? Fancy that. I look in here, it comes out there. In my voice, too. Oh, my! Azriel, this will be my greatest trap of all! Uh, uh, this is an honest face, uh, don't you think? This mushroom cap is just the right size, Handy. Papa Smurf will be so pleased. My Smurfness, look at that. That is absolutely the Smurfiest mirror I have ever seen. Oh, be careful, Smurf. It might be some sort of trick. Don't be silly, Smurfette. The mirror is the Smurfiest invention of all time. <gasps> when did I grow a beard? Hello, hello, my Smurfy friends, and congratulations! You are now the proud owners of a magic mirror! With this mirror, your whole village can watch the Smurfy Acres show at noon today! This magic mirror is a one-time offer for Smurfs only, absolutely free! Sacre bleu cheese! He says the mirror is magic! And it's all mine! <gasps> Excuse me, it's all ours! <laughs> Now, I'd better practice my sales technique. Noon is only a short time away. Hmm. And you say a face actually appeared in the mirror and told you it was a gift? Yes, Papa Smurf. And it told us to watch the Smurfy Acres show at noon today. Hmm. Well, I'll be Smurfed. 
Well, I can't see what harm a reflection in the mirror can do. Yes, you may watch. Yay! Oh, oh, hiya, 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 Smurfs, and welcome to the Smurfy Acres Show, the show that makes you want to sing a little song, do a little dance, and move to Smurfy Acres. <laughs> move to Smurfy Acres? That's right, Smurfy Acres, the brand new village that's just like your village, only much better. Smurfy Acres, the beautiful village built with Smurfs in mind. Swimming pools, playing fields, playgrounds, and an 18-hole Smurf course just for your enjoyment. Yay! But more about Smurfy Acres later. First, let's laugh along with one of the funniest jesters ever. Let's hear a nice round of applause for Tom Foolery. Sound, Smurfs and Smurfettes. A funny thing happened to me on the way to Smurfy Acres. I ran into this Smurf that lives in the old Smurf village, and he said his house was so small, he had to step outside to change his mind. <laughs> Now listen, there were these two Smurfs, see, walking in the forest. Well, one Smurf said to the other Smurf, haven't I Smurfed you someplace before? And the other Smurf said, I don't know, where have you Smurfed before? Hmm. There's something funny about that, Jester. If you ask me, Papa Smurf, he's not funny at all. <laughs> no, I mean familiar. Now let's hear it for Tom Foolery. And now, the part of the show you've all been waiting for. This is Smurfy Acres, the village built just for Smurfs. All of the conveniences that you could ever want, and you don't have to work at all. And for a limited time only, believe it or not, we are giving away homes in Smurfy Acres. Oh, oh yeah. Giving away houses? That's right. And how do you get to Smurfy Acres? Just follow the dry stream bed to Mushroom Hollow. Go half a league north to the fallen maple. Yay! Oh, Amazing. Smurfette, I think we'd better look into this. Oh, joy. Oh, rap. Sure, Azriel. They're coming, stampeding to their doom like a herd of little blue cattle. <laughs> now, to cast the spell that traps them forever. This sure is better than the old swimming hole. <laughs> oh, now this is the life. Mark my words, Jokey. Someday this will be a sport every successful Smurf will play. Jokey! Gee, Papa Smurf, they sure are having a good time. Nevertheless, I have a very bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. Just as I thought. <laughs> now, for the final touch. Stand, Stand on your hands. Give, give your, your knee a slap. Ouch! Say walla walla, and you spring the trap! The wonder of it! At last, I've captured every Smurf! I can't wait to get my hands on those little... But how can I, with this big, stupid wall in my way? Curse that idiot book! Every time it gives me a spell, something goes wrong! Oh, Papa Smurf, you were right! All the Smurfs are trapped! Come, Smurfette, we must hurry back to the village. I must mix a spell that will make a hole in that magic wall. But Papa Smurf, what if Gargamel gets back before we do? I have just the plan to take care of that, too. We must hurry. There. I've magically altered this mirror so that it will show Gargamel what this mirror sees. Oh, I hope I do it right, Papa Smurf. You'll be fine, Smurfette. Just keep Gargamel interested until I can free the Smurfs. All right, Papa Smurf. Huh? What is this? Welcome to every wizard's favorite dinner time show, Cooking with Smurf. Today, we're going to tell you how to make Smurf Surprise. Mmm. Mmm. It'll be a surprise, all right. <laughs> First, Take a handful of Smurfs. <laughs> oh, that will be easy enough. Then, sauté them in hickory butter until they're golden brown. Mm, mm. Yum. Mm. Next, 
Add a dash of cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and two fresh eggs. Come, my little Smurfs, and hurry! Oh, 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 oh. Then, get some onions and peppercorns ground to a fine powder. Uh, yes, but, but hurry, will you please? It's getting dark. It, getting dark? No! No, 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 no! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> They've done it to me again! <laughs> I'll never catch those rotten smurfs! Never, never, never! Ah, home at last. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. Yay! Oh, what's to become of us? I'm afraid we'll all have to become beggars. Oh, stop! Now, who could that be? Yes? Oh, no one. Huh? What's this? Fruits! Vegetables! Oh, we're saved, my children! Oh, I love to make people happy. And now, I'll find another good thing to do. <laughs> My little Smurfs, tomorrow is the Feast of Plenty. My favorite holiday. As you all know, every year we celebrate this feast by having each Smurf prepare their favorite food to share with every Smurf. Yay! Yay! Isn't this exciting? What are you Smurfs bringing to the feast? Uh, cucumber custard. Rainbow sherbet. <laughs> Smurf very surprised. And what are you making for the feast, sweetie? You'll see. I'm going out now to collect the secret ingredients. Smurf you later. <laughs> oh, oh, what a shame. Someone forgot their bucket. I wonder who it belongs to. Ah! Oh, jump in here, Minnie. I seem to be stuck by Gunny. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Someone's coming. Tomorrow, my pickle wheat Smurf cakes will be the hit of the feast. Excuse me. Huh? Who said that? I did. Who are you? I am Gwynilda, the good fairy. Looks like you're caught in one of Gargamel Smurf traps. I'll Smurf you down in a jiffy. There! No! <gasps> Yump and Yemini! Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you've been so kind, by golly. I'd like to grant you a wish. A wish? How smurfy! My specialty is feeding the hungry. Really? Me too! Especially when the hungry is me. A little something to eat then. What? Huh, it's a little something, all right. But what is it? It's a magic porridge pot. Whoa! If you are ever hungry, you need only say these magic words. Little magic porridge pot. Make some porridge nice and hot. The pot will make as much porridge as you can eat. Mmm, it's delicious. Yeah, sure. It's an old family recipe. And when you have eaten your fill, you need only say, a little magic porridge pot. No more porridge. Thanks a lot. And it will stop. Golly, when will the other Smurfs see this? <laughs> that centerpiece certainly looks lovely, Smurf. Oh, thank you, Papa Smurf. Hey, every Smurf, look what I've got. What is that? It's a magic porridge pot. A magic porridge pot? Sure, what's this? Little magic porridge pot, make some porridge nice and hot. Oh! Why, that's amazing! Mmm, Smurfy! Where did you get it, Greedy? A good fairy gave it to me. Let every Smurf have as much as he wants. I have to do my baking for tomorrow. Yum, yum, delicious! Come in. Your magic porridge pot is very smurfy, but it's disrupting our preparations for tomorrow. Sorry, Smurfette, you can leave it here. Ah, uh, c'est magnifique. May I have some more? And me. And me. 
Oh, no! I'll never be ready for tomorrow. Phew, what a day. I served so much porridge, I thought I'd never get my pickle weed cakes done. Uh, uh, I was just passing by, and I have to wonder if you could possibly... No! No more porridge. Come back tomorrow. Hmm. I wonder what's the matter with him. I was just going to ask for a little more porridge, but if that's how he feels, then never mind. After all, why should I care if Greedy selfishly refuses to give me any of that delicious pink porridge? Of course, Papa Smurf always says that we should smurf and smurf alike. But does that make any difference to Greedy? Oh, no! Now, if I had a pot like that, I'd make Apsa Smurfly certain that every Smurf got plenty of porridge. <laughs> of course! Why didn't I think of it before? I'm really doing him a favor. After all, he just isn't mature enough to handle the responsibility of a magic porridge pot. It'll be better for everyone concerned, especially me. Ah, there it is. Now, let's see, how does this thing work? Was it... No. Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. Little magic porridge pot, make some porridge nice and hot. One should never celebrate a feast of plenty on an empty stomach. Little magic porridge pot, make some porridge nice and hot. Hey, what's the matter? Didn't you hear me? I said, little magic porridge pot, make some porridge nice and hot. Something's wrong here. I better look into this. Hey, I'm stuck. Get me out of it. Ouch! Hey, will some smurf smurf me out of this? I've had nothing but problems ever since that good fairy gave me this. Ow! Help! Help! I can't remember when I've ever had such a good breakfast. I couldn't possibly eat another bite. Uh, that's enough, porridge pot. No more, thank you. I said that's enough. Oh, no. How do you turn this thing off? <laughs> oh, no! Yeah! Oh, please. Oh, please, little porridge pot. Pretty please, please, the sugar on. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! What's wrong? Other than the fact you're covered with porridge. It's terrible. It's just terrible. The porridge pot is overflowing, and I've tried everything. We've got to find Greedy. He's the only one who can stop it. Great, Smurf. This is serious. Help! Somebody help! I hate this porridge. <laughs> Whatever shall we do? We must evacuate the village immediately. Greedy, you make sure Baby Smurf is safe. Yes, Papa Smurf. Oh no, my memoirs! They'll be ruined! Jovi, I've got to save my memoirs! You go get Baby! Hey, sir! Get Baby! I gotta save my surprise! Clumsy, I've got to save my master vessels! You get the BB, mon ami! Uh, okay! Uh, Gee, I wonder what a baby is. Oh, this is terrible. Does any Smurf know how this all started? Um, well, uh, see, I was doing this little uh, experiment. Papa Smurf, where's baby? Rainy, I thought I told you to get baby. Well, you did, but I told Jogi to do it. And I told Peter. And I told Clumsy. Where's the BB? BB? Oh, I get it. You meant baby. We've got to find baby. Look. It's baby. Oh, no. Poor baby. Oh, it's all my fault. Get up here, baby Smurf. 
My little Smurfs, we must find Greedy. He's the only one who can stop this orange. Jokey, Harmony, Smurfette. Yes, Papa Smurf. You look for Greedy. The rest of us will keep the porridge from spreading. Every Smurf, grab a shovel. Help! Someone help! Jumping Yemini. Now what have we here? Gosh, Bangs. Bangs a lot. Oh, son, you're just the Smurf I've been looking for. Me? Why? Just across the road. I found an orphanage. It's full of hungry children. And I wondered if you could return the porridge pot so I could give it to them. I'd be happy to return it, but it doesn't work anymore. <gasps> but this isn't the pot I gave you. Oh, Greedy, come quickly! Your pot is flooding the whole village with pink porridge! Yeah, hurry! Go on! The pot is in Greedy's house. Now, Greedy! Good old magic porridge pot! No more porridge! Thanks a lot! It stopped! I'm sorry about the trouble, by golly, but this pot will be put to good use at the orphanage. I'm certain that it will, Winilda. Thank you, Smurfs. And the orphans thank you, too. But now, I must go. Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> Gee, Papa Smurf, the Feast of Plenty's ruined. Uh, at least we got plenty of porridge. Yes, thanks to Brainy. Um, <laughs> I, I, I just remembered. There's, uh, there's something very important that I must attend to immediately, if, if not sooner. Brainy, besides the fact that it was wrong to take Greedy's pot, you should never start something you don't know how to finish. I'm sorry, Papa Smurf. Now you will clean up this mess you caused. Oh, Papa Smurf, I couldn't possibly. No arguments. I'll help you, Brainy. After all, I haven't had my breakfast yet. <laughs> mm.